thousands of fans and friends of Priscilla Maria Veronica White, locally and famously known as Scylla Black, came out to Liverpool to pay respects to the Scouse legend. News of the icon's death rippled across Liverpool and the nation after she was found dead in a Spanish holiday home aged 72. Scylla first got her taste of fame with the hit single Anyone Who Had A Heart in 1964 and went on to present family favourite TV shows such as Surprise Surprise and Blind Date. Today, crowds of saddened fans have gathered outside Matthew Street, the home of the Cavern Club, where Scylla first rose to stardom, working with stars such as the Beatles. At the Town Hall, the flag is at half-mast and its doors have been opened for people to sign a book of condolences in her memory. The celebrity's popularity has been shown all day, with non-stop queues of fans waiting to sign the book. I think it's really important that we give citizens of Liverpool the opportunity to come and pay their last respects to Scylla and this is a way of allowing people to do that. She never lost their love for Liverpool and she was always a symbol for me anyway of Liverpool. She always had that unique sense of Liverpool humour and that warmth which came across, you know, and she was a fantastic entertainer and a singer and a presenter on TV. And I can remember, you know, with my family watching on a Saturday night, with blind dates and uh, surprise, surprise. It wasn't a Saturday night without those programmes. And she'll be really sadly missed. Absolutely love her. Always have. It's my era. The Beatles seller brought up with them. She was a true scouser. She was a credit to us all. There wasn't anything. You know, everything was so proud of her. She was wonderful. And she was a red. That helped. <laughs> but, um... I just absolutely adored her and want to pay my respects. And far too soon for her to go. She was great, wasn't she? She was great. I don't suppose she'd remember really much of her, but she was great. She's down to her. Just like ourselves, all of us. The cable yesterday, we heard the news yesterday afternoon. Well, I was only oh. in um, Brown by the Cabin yesterday thinking about Scylla and the Beatles, yeah. Billy Fury, and, and uh, then heard the sad news. We, we grew up with the Liverpool music. It's a shock because yeah. we didn't know, she, well, as far as we know, she's not been poorly or anything, is she? And it's only young, isn't it? I can remember going to the cavern, although I never actually met Scylla, but I mean, the Maisy beat and the Maisy sound of the 60s was what made Liverpool partly what it is today. All those talented people, Scylla Black, the Beatles, Jerry and the Pacemakers, this age, I could go on. But it was a fantastic time and it's something that we're really proud of. And of course, Scylla being a massive part of the 60s Mersey Beat music culture. Down at the cavern, the crowds have been growing with people coming to pay their last respects and to remember her for the music career that helped put Liverpool on the map. Shock. You know, I think people are, you know, we weren't expecting it. She had, there was no, been no news about her being ill, so uh, genuine shock really, which is... Felt all around the world, but obviously here yesterday it was uh, very strange. And, and today it's just it, there's so, so many people coming here to pay their respects. You know, it's a great lady and a great loss. I mean, we always associate the Beatles with the Cavern, and then all the great artists that came after that, the, you know, the Stones, the Who. Uh, for a lot of people, Scylla is, is is spoken about in the same 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 way. You know, the same way that visitors from all over the world and or, and, and the UK come here and they're. They're, they're talking about you know all these iconic bands. They're always they're still asking about you know what, how many times did Scylla sing here and so there's there's a, 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 a genuine connection with Scylla and the Cavern as there is obviously with Liverpool, and she's part of that. She's part of our story. You know she's part of a you know this story and like extended family really. You know there there is that strong connection. Uh, our artists, our resident artists, they're going to be paying tributes. In between, we're playing Scylla, uh, some of her great songs. I mean. You know, what a great singer. I think people forget sometimes what a great singer she was because she was such an entertainer and the television career uh, took over. But, you know, she was, she was a great artist, great performer, uh, and a great all-rounder. So, yeah, we are paying tribute and, and remembering Scylla very much all day and right, right the way through to the end. It must go on. It's got to go on forever. It's just like the Beatles. She lives forever. She always will do, like, the, like John Paul. George and Ringo, they'll live forever. They've made Liverpool what they are. People should never forget that. She was the heart and soul of Liverpool. 
Silla Black, was, I liked it in the 60s. I sound stuck because I'm not old enough, but I prefer the 60s to now. And uh, I, I've just come today to pay my respects to her because it's emotional. It, it is, it, it's sad. I think everyone should come here today because like I woke up this morning and I'm thinking, where to go? The cavern. So I've come here today just to pay my respects to because it's sad. It, it is really sad. She never lost her love for the city. And a very sad day. I was so shocked last night, almost as I was crying. And uh, I think somebody mentioned on the television, it was like the loss of Lady Diana. And to Liverpool and to the Liverpool people, she was part, and it still is part of Liverpool. I think it's now sinking in. I mean, flowers have just been laid by uh, people and the Lord Mayor's just been down. And I think now people are starting to realise, and there's a lot of people gathering in Matthew Street because this is where it happened. This is where I met her, was down at the cloakroom and that was where it so, sort of started. So it's it's starting to sink in and I spoke to a lot of people, Paul O'Grady still in bits. Um, it's it's a realisation that we've lost a huge star, a huge star. She was a lovely friend. She made a very good friend. Um, she was very kind. She never forgot her roots. Liverpool was her life. Uh, regardless of what anybody said. Yes, she lived in London, that's where the job was, but she loved Liverpool and came back all the time. When you stayed with her, and I stayed in Barbados, and I stayed in Spain, sadly, where she died, and I stayed in Denham, where she lived, and all her homes, she made you welcome. She was a real human being, and you would see her in the morning, cooking breakfast, but with a glass of champagne in her hand. That never, ever wasn't far away. Charlene Smith, Bay TV News.